Hello my friend, happy to see you here on my channel. Today we have a really interesting math problem for you. m to the 9th plus m to the 6th power equal to 36. And we need to find from here, of course, our m. A lot of students think that this is an easy problem, but I want to tell you that right here we have 9th power, so it's not like an easy equation, and we need to know a, a really good tricks right here, how can we do a substitution, so I want to show you a really good method, how can we solve it. Okay, we have 9 and 6th power, yeah? What it tells us, this 9 and 6th power? 9 can be divided by 3 and 6 can be divided by 3. This is really good. So as a result, this m to the 9th we can write as m cube raised to the 3rd power. Yeah, we can write it in this way. And plus m cube raised to the square and equal to 36. Yeah, equal to 36. Okay, we have right here this situation, 3 times 3, 9, so the same is right here in the beginning, and right here 3 times 2, 6, so the same in the beginning. But if you look closely, this m cube and this m cube are the same numbers, because we have the same values, maybe the different powers right here, but doesn't matter. We have same elements right here. And if you work with substitution, so let, let our m cube will be equal to t, for example, what we have as a result? We will have t cube plus right here t but squared and I bring this 36 from to the left minus 36 equal to 0. So right here we have a cube equation so t cube plus t squared minus 36 equal to equal to 0. Okay our problem give us this equation and we need to solve it. When we solve this with, with t we will plug in this and find, find our m. But what about this equation? How can we solve this? Take a look closely. We have equation and there are a lot of methods how can you do this. I want to show you my approach and I hope you will enjoy it. Maybe you have your approach, you can solve it in your own way. As well, I find factors of this 36. So what about the factors of this 36? If you're talking about the factors, what are the main obvious ones? So plus minus one real quick, plus minus two, plus minus three and a lot of factors. But let's start with this from this beginning. So we have plus minus one, plus minus two and plus minus three. So if t equal to, for example, 1, let's go with plus 1. What we have as a result? We will have, I try to raise in, in my mind, I hope you understand it. I don't want to write it 1 cube plus 1 square. I write only like 1 plus 1 and minus 36. And I, I see right now that this expression is not equal to 0. Yeah. So real quick by inspection. And if you're talking about negative 1, this is the same maybe like minus 1 plus 1. So not equal to 0. Okay, let's go to t equal to 2. If t equal to 2, we will have like 8 plus 4 and minus 36, yeah? Not equal to 0, so we reject this real quick. So not equal to 0, not equal to 0. Let's go next. Let's go to t equal to 3. If t equal to 3, you will have like 27 because t cube plus 3 square, we will have 9 and minus 36. So right here, 27 plus 9, 36 minus 36 equal to 0. So this is really great. And by this inspection, we find one, one factor. So t minus 3 is our factor, yeah? So right here we, we find it. But what about another factor? We find only one factor. What about another parentheses? I want to show you a really good method. So we have this equation. So t cube plus t square and minus 36 equal to 0. Yeah, we have this, this expression right now. And we know that t minus 3 is our factor, yeah? Take a look closely. We have t square. So we can write this t square. So t cube I write as in the beginning. But t square I want to write as minus 3 t square plus 4 t square. Yeah. And I bring this minus 36. Yeah. Minus 36 equal to 0. Okay. Minus 3 t square plus 4 t square give us 1 t square. Yeah. So nothing changed for us. But if you look closely to these two elements right here, if you factor t square, we'll have t minus 3. Yeah, so I hope you understand this logic and I want to go further. So we have this expression and let's go further. What do you have as a result? We have right here, we factor this t square, so t square, and in parentheses we will have t minus 3, t minus 3. And let's go next, let's go next. Right here we have 40 square. How can we write this 40 square? Let's write this as 40 square, so the same, but what about this 36? We don't have t. So let's write minus 12t plus 12t and minus 36 equal to equal to 0. Yeah? And take a look closely. Right here, 40 square minus 12t. If we factor t, t, we will have, or not t, just 40, we will have 
t minus 3. So as a result, we'll have t square, t minus 3, right here, 4t square minus 12t. We factor 4t, so plus 4t in parentheses, t minus 3, and right here, 12t minus 36, and plus 3, or just plus 12. Yeah, we need t minus 3 equal to 0. Yeah, so we factor it. We have the same t minus 3, we have t minus 3 and t minus 3. Let's factor it. So t minus 3 and in second parentheses we will have t square plus 4t and plus 12. Finally we factor our problem and let's solve it. If product equal to 0 then this parentheses so t minus 3 equal to 0 from here t equal to 3 and this t square plus 4t plus 12 equal to 0 then from here we will have like same situation, we'll have two, two more roots. Let's start with, with these parentheses. Let's solve this quadratic equation at first. So what about uh, solution? So t equal to minus b, so minus 4 plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac, so 16 minus 4 times 1 times 12 and all over, all over 2. Okay, so as a result, right here we'll have minus 4 plus minus square root of, I guess, 16 minus 48, this is minus 32, so plus minus minus square root of 32 over 2. And what about this root? Take a look closely, our discriminant is negative. So as a result, right here we'll have like expression with our i, and if we divide it, our final answer will be the next one, minus 2 plus minus i square root of 32 over, over 2. Yeah, this is our answer if we are talking about complex root, but this is not like a final answer to this problem because this is with t. If we want to find all roots, all complex roots, we need to plug in this t right here, right here, m cube equal to this equation, so m cube equal to this one, and as a result, you will have, looks like three roots right here, or maybe two roots, so as a result, you will have like a lot of complex roots, yeah? So if, if you wanted to find complex roots, you need to solve this equation. But let's go to our, this equation, so t equal to three, but t equal to m cube, so as a result, m cube equal to three, yeah? And what about solution? Real easy equation, because if we take third root on both sides, we will have that our m equal to cubes root of three. And this is our our answer to this interesting, interesting problem. If you wanted to prove it real quick, we can easily rate this, take a look closely. m cubed, so this raised into the ninth power. We will have like 3, three cube. If we rate this to the sixth power, we will have 3 square equal to 36. So as a result, if we wanted to prove it, so if we want to prove this root or we want to check it, we will have 3 cube plus 3 square equal to 36. And of course, this is absolutely correct. So our answer is m equal to cubes root of 3. And this is my approach to this interesting, interesting problem. And let's try to go ahead and try to understand this problem once more. I want to show you this approach once more. As a result, first one, we have 9 and 6. Really good because we can write it as 9 as 3 times 3, 6 as 3 square. Yeah? Cube equation. My approach, how I find the factors at, and try to find one factor. Of course, if, if you know a lot of formula, you can solve it by yourself with this formula, you can solve it in another way. There are a lot of ways how can you solve the cube equation, but I'm going to show you this one. This is really great, I guess. Cube equation, and right now a really good method. Take a look closely. Right here we we have t square, but we need to factor. So in, in our minds, we need to, to think about this t minus 3. So you need to write this t square as minus 3t square and you have this t minus 3 right here and plus 4t square because we, you, you need nothing change for, for this because we have like t square, we cannot like add 5t square because it gives us like, like 2t square, yeah? So this is, this is my approach to this problem and of course complex roots right here. If you want to, find, to solve it completely, you need to you need to solve this, this equation and you will find our m if you're talking about complex number. But at first I don't have enough space for this and it's really long to solve this cube equation once more and it's really good to solve it in real numbers. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like, write any comment, write your suggestion in the comment. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Have a great day and thank you for your support. See you in the next videos.